Hey there, Hurricane. So I want to show you another part of the Google Suite that you may or may not be familiar with. So uh, give me a second here to share my screen. So you can see I'm here in Drive. And one of the other features that's available in here is if I go to New and scroll down here to More is Google Drawings. <clears throat> now, one of the tools that we have in the Innovation Lab is a large format printer. And that printer has the capability of printing on paper that is two feet wide that is also on a roll. And so I've had prints that have been as long as 10 or 12 feet. So knowing that, you can use Google Drawing to create a poster that maybe you want to do in a class or for some other reason. Now here's the thing. When I take a look at Google Drawing when it first opens up, this is in a 4 to 3 ratio. Not really very helpful when designing a poster. And in fact, if you take a look, I've got a ruler up here. It's 10 inches uh, from this width here, and it's about seven and a half inches long. So that's not really poster size. That's going to fit on a regular piece of paper. So what we want to do is set the paper up so that it's poster size at the beginning. And that way, if I want, uh, if I go to, an, and I've already made it, and I try to blow it up, I'll lose some resolution, or I might skew it or stretch it in an odd way, and it's just not going to turn out well. So what I want to do is, first of all, just make sure that I name this, right? So the first thing you should do is, you know, this is going to be test poster, okay? So that you get, get in the habit of doing that. And then you're going to go to File, and you're going to come down here to Page Setup. And Page Setup, where it says Standard 4 to 3, you're going to click on that and go to Custom. And now you can make this any size you want. So if you want it to be a 24-inch wide by, say, 18-inch high poster, you can see when I do that now, this ruler, it's, you don't really see the, the measurements, but it's 24 by 18 now. I could always reset this again. So if I wanted to do it taller than it is wide, I could go to File, Page Setup, and I could say make this width 18 and the height 24, and hit Apply. And now you can see I've got a poster that's a little bit taller than it is wide. And now whatever I do here, I won't lose the resolution when I go to print it. And so this is going to be very similar to a lot of the other Google Suite apps. Um, this first button here is going to let you draw a line. You can see that there are tools underneath it. So I can draw arrows or elbows or curves or whatever. And all I have to do really is just select one of these and click um, on the screen. Oh, I didn't select it. Why is it not? There it goes. And just click and drag. And now you can see I've got my line. Um, and I could always switch this up and, you know, do something else. So I can do a curve. All right, so you can see how that kind of works as I curve this around the screen. Okay. And when I'm done with that, I can just hit escape and get out of there. All right. So basically, that's what the line tools are going to be. I've got all these shapes, and we've seen these before in some of the other Google apps, right? So I can do six, seven, eight, ten-sided figures or a lightning bolt or whatever. I've got these different arrows and callouts and equation symbols and stuff like that. Standard text box, right? Just kind of click and drag. Uh, you'll get the uh, the font tools up above here. So you might need to make your font bigger just so that it can actually be seen. Uh, and you can actually click in here and make a default size or type in your own size just by you know typing in there. Okay. So, uh, and you can resize this and make it bigger or smaller, whatever you need to be. Change your font style here, your color, your highlight. You can create a link, but if you're going to print it out, a link's not really going to do any good. You can leave comments because you can share this document with somebody else, uh, and the two of you could work on it together. So you might want to leave a comment, you know, on the side that just says, you know, find a picture of a dog for here, right? And then I'll drop that comment in there. And everybody's going to then see that comment. And then we can always uh, delete or link to this comment, whatever we want to do. Okay. We can do pictures like we do in many other ways. If I have the URL of the picture, so if I know exactly where it is, or I could just search the web. And now that I know that I need a picture of a dog there, I can click on dog um, and just use this dog right here and insert it. With pictures, I can click on the picture and move it to another location. I can resize the picture by clicking on the corners. I can rotate the picture by clicking on this circle and dragging and rotating. If I don't like that, I can click on the undo button and undo any changes that I want. With all these things, I can always click on format options. And if I want to add a drop shadow in there, I can. 
Uh, the distance might need to be increased, especially considering the size of this document. I like to give it a little bit more blur. I think that just looks a little bit more natural. Now you can see it kind of jumps off the page, right? And uh, we've also got the reflection and some other adjustments that we could do, make it a little more transparent if we want to see through it, okay? Adjust the brightness or the contrast if we need to, okay? And if I make a mistake, I just hit reset and I'll go back to normal. So, uh, and then once we've done that, we do have some of the other things up here that we have in Google. So uh, again, it's sort of trying to figure out for you what you want your poster to look like, what you want it to say. Um, you know, you could click on the word, heart, word art here and, you know, put in some kind of title. And then you'll have this sort of puppies here. I could change that font a little bit, um, make it a little bit different. And I could change the inside color if I want it to, you know, pop a little bit more. And just like the other stuff, I can go ahead and do a drop shadow or I could do a reflection on that. If I wanted to, I could take that drop shadow off. And that uh, reflection is a little bit hard to see, but now you can see it a little bit better. And note that you can adjust these, right? So you can make more of a distance there, more transparent so it's not quite so obvious, more of the puppies showing up in the reflection, however you want to do that. You can put it up over top of this now. And you can kind of see it sort of reflects off the dog there a little bit. It's just dark on dark, okay? So that's sort of a really quick, um, a really quick tour of Google Drawing. The big thing that I want you to get out of this, however, is to go to the file and the page setup and make sure that you are pre-sizing your poster the size you want. So again, one edge needs to be 24 inches or smaller or it's not gonna fit on the printer. The other edge can be just about anything you want. Um, 18 by 24 is a fairly standard poster size. Um, so is 13 by 19. Um, so you want to kind of keep that sort of ratio like that. So uh, 18 by 24, 24 by 36 if you want to go really big. That Google poster that's hanging um, up on the board is a 24 by 36 poster if that gives you any indication of what that size is. So what I would like you to do is to go ahead and start playing around with this and see what you can come up with. And uh, yeah, have some fun with this and we'll see what you all create.